sometimes to get the mind to settle in, you need to circle around a little bit, like a plane circling around before it's going to land. So you spread thoughts of goodwill. Think about goodwill going out in all directions, that you don't want to harm yourself, you don't want to harm anybody else. That's a good state of mind to maintain. It's our motivation for practicing. It also gets the mind in the right mood. This means we're going to look for a happiness that doesn't harm anybody. Where else are we going to find it but right here? So you think about goodwill for all beings and you realize that any other kind of happiness you would try to develop, aside from generosity, virtue, and discernment, or generosity, virtue, and meditation, would be placing burdens on other people. But this one doesn't place burdens on anyone at all. So you circle around and then you land. At the same time, the circling around reminds you that okay, everybody in the world wants happiness, and you're going to find it. So you're in a good position right now. Some people come to meditation and they're down on themselves to begin with, and the meditation doesn't go right right from the very beginning, and they start criticizing themselves and figure out other ways to get out of the meditation. But you have to remind yourself that you've got this opportunity. And the fact that you have this opportunity shows you have some value. You've done some good in the past. If you hadn't done any good, you wouldn't be here. So put yourself in the right mood. You don't want to harm anybody. At the same time, you want to have a sense of self-esteem about what you're doing. Put yourself in a good humor. When things aren't going well, when you find yourself frustrated, learn how to laugh at the frustration. Laugh in a good humored way. And that helps get you over a lot of bumps that otherwise would seem insurmountable. So circle around a bit. Think thoughts of goodwill in all directions. Think thoughts of goodwill for yourself. It's like the night of the Buddha's awakening. He first thought about his own previous lives, and then he thought about all the beings in the world. It was only then he was ready to settle down in the present moment. So you look at your life, you realize that you've been looking for happiness and you haven't really found what you want yet, and you look all around you and see other beings trying to find happiness, and some are doing it well and some are not. So you wish everyone well. You say, at least for me, I'm not going to impose suffering on other people. And that puts the mind in a good place to settle down. So just like an airplane coming in for a landing, circle around first a bit and then come down. You'll find it's a lot easier to land right on the landing strip and come to a safe stop. 